I'm sweating off my foundation. Lovely. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. So today, my friends, I am very excited to be trying out this Ipsy and Tetris collab. This is a pretty darn big box. It came just the other day. I ordered it after I realized what the theme was for Ipsy this month, and I saw that they had this still available for $40, which has, I believe, over almost $150 value, if I'm not mistaken. I almost feel like, you know, a real beauty influencer with PR. Not so much. Nonetheless, it's adorable, and it's something that I'm going to be keeping because it's really cute. So if you don't know, by the way, Ipsy and Ipsy Glam Bag Plus are beauty subscriptions. The Ipsy Glam Bag is $10, the Ipsy, the obviously it's Ipsy, the Glam Bag Plus is $25. And in our Plus box, we got a palette and some other things from the collection. But this is how this comes. Now, obviously, it has two palettes. So... The palette that I got the repeat of, I'm going to be saving for a giveaway. But it's adorable. Now, I don't even know what a lot of these products are because I have not looked into it. But I did, I ordered the whole brush set. But I got one in here as well. And it's super cute. I don't know if it's going to be enough brushes for me to do my whole eye look today. So I did bring my other brushes. And then we have this here, which says that it is a highlighter. So I'm super excited to get into all of the products and do swatches and everything for you. This one was excited to come out and play. This is the block party. Which ones did I get? I got a game on. So let's, I'm going to take this game on out of here and put it to the side so I don't mix them up and I know that that one is for my giveaway. If you hear noise, I have a fan on because it's pretty hot in New York today. It's finally not pouring rain. You know what? Let me get my kitten ears and put my hair back because I just got out of the shower, as you can tell. And let's get this doing, going, whatever. I obviously have my foundation, my bronzer, my blush, and I did do my brows already. So this is the second palette that I did not get. This one's called Block Party, and it is in purple, my favorite, favorite color in the entire world. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, this folds back nicely. I do like that they have a mirror. I am probably going to be utilizing it. It's not the biggest mirror, but it has one. So, And this I like as a protector because it just flips up. They don't make it impossible to get into. This is a blue and purple palette. It is four. I have, looks like to be three more metallic shades, one shimmer, and then you have two very nice matte transition shadows, which is good because the other palette doesn't have very many transition shadows. Let me swatch this for you and see what it looks like. Skyline, T-spin, and top out. Really pretty pigmented colors. Even that matte went on very, very nicely. We have back-to-back, -back, line deer, and high score. The back-to-back -back is hard to see because it literally matches my skin tone, so it's going to be great for just setting my eyes all over. I love it. And of course, I wore the appropriate pink shirt today to go with that palette, that's for sure. This palette swatched just as nicely as the Game On palette, so I am very excited to try these actually on my eyes. This might be my first time. Now let's go on to the Game On palette. This was the one I received in my Glam Bag Plus box. One is an orangey blue gold type, and that green, that green is just wow. I already swatched these, but in case you didn't watch that video, I'm going to swatch them again for you. Game Changer. Game day and game night. That green gold, <clears throat> excuse me, is like, oh my goodness, stunning beautiful. Then we have Black Party, which is that shimmer, stack it up, and game over, which is that gorgeous pigmented blue. I'm really hoping that, because it's a very dry formula, I'm really hoping that it goes on my eyes really nicely. I don't know if I'm going to do the blue. Now is the problem. I have to decide what color score, story I am going to use. And in my opinion, you could totally combine both of these palettes and use them as complementary palettes to each other because I think, honestly, I think they were made that way and I like that idea. And as much as I want to try that blue, I may throw it on maybe as underneath or something, but I really want to go with this purple palette because it's just, I did a lot of blue looks lately. Let's take another look at these brushes. 
I'm sweating off my foundation. Lovely. You get a decent variety of brushes here. You even have an angled one. And again, I don't know if it's going to be enough for me to do a whole eye look with, but I love them. I love the different colored ferrules, and they are just so freaking cute. I'm going to start with the very fluffy brush, and I'm going to go in to back to back, and I'm going to set my eyelids. There's a very similar, albeit lighter, tone color in the Block Party palette. It's a little powdery, but it does go on very nicely. The only thing I've set my eyes with is my concealer. Next up, I'm going to take this Skyline color, or maybe do I want to take the other one? Let's see. No, I'm going to take the Skyline color. I'm going to use it not so much as a transition, but maybe just go right in with my crease. brushes are incredibly soft and this shadow seems to be going on very nicely. Again, it's not a dramatic color because it does seem similar to my skin tone. Using a fabric brush, I want to take, what do I want to take? I'm going to take Skyline. I'm going to go underneath my lash, lower lash line. With a stiffer bristled brush, this goes on extremely pigmented. Even though it's a shimmer, I am going to take that purple and put it right basically almost in my crease. Okay, this one's not picking up as well. Let me try. First, I'm going to try a different brush, and then I'm going to wet it and see if that works. Let's try the angled brush. It's not picking up very well on this brush. This brush isn't working as well either. I'm going to try one more brush. I'm going to use my Luxie, and let's see if this works. This is very dense. It's working better, but it's just a little disappointing. So as you can see how swatches sometimes don't really mean much. Wet, it is much better. Let's try adding on to this with Line Deer and I'm gonna try my finger. I never tried that purple with my finger. It may even work very well with your finger. This does go on very nicely with my finger. How many times can I say finger? Taking another brush and I'm wetting it again. This is my Miracos brush. I'm just going back into Skyline to blend a little bit of this. I'm taking Stack It Up from this palette and I'm going to blend above. I'm going to take this deep blue on the little liner brush that we have here and I'm gonna go underneath my eye. This may be a mistake, we will find out. This brush is great for creating a very precise line. I love it. Of course I just went to go to the other eye and I realized I haven't done the other eye yet. I have to take some of this teaspoon and put it on the center of my eyelid. I'm going to take this purple again, which is high score, and I'm just going to kind of blend that a little bit. 
As far as my inner corner goes, I'm going to save my actual highlight for that. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this other eye off camera, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I finished up both eyes. So as of right now, I think it's pretty. I like the look, but I am slightly disappointed in the application compared to how excited I was with the swatches. It's not a bad palette, but so far, and I haven't used all the colors, so far I'll tell you that this one and this one performed extremely well. I like this, but you do have to tap on a couple of times, and I'm not getting any fallout, but I think you may need a couple, maybe wet your finger, maybe some glitter glue for some real intensity. This one, a little disappointed. It works well wet, but I kind of wanted to put it into my crease more, and I don't really use wet shadows in my crease, so this one... Eh. This one I think performed nicely, both with a brush, a wet brush even better, and I did also like it with my finger, although it was slightly patchy with my finger. I did not try this blue yet, so I can't speak to how it performs. In the Game On palette, this one of course performed extremely well, and I do like the blue underneath. I'm not getting any fallout, but I can see how you would have to, it's more like a pigment, and you would have to pack it on and blend cautiously, although I can't say for sure since I haven't done that, but that's just kind of what I could tell from maybe the texture and how it went on underneath my eyes. I am going to give all of these other colors a try, so I'm not going to speak to them because I didn't put them on my eyes and that wouldn't be fair. Overall, not bad. As I said, just ever so slightly disappointed in just a couple. In our Ipsy box, we also got the Suva Beauty Gel Liner, and it is one of those liners that not the liner. Yeah, well, it is. It's one of those pots that you have to wet. We did get a very nice, thin, precise, which with a stray hair here. It's the only reason I don't like these is because it winds up ruining the hairs on your brushes. I have to wet the brush, so I'm hoping they will go back into their proper place. Now, these can sometimes be tricky in that I occasionally have to actually wet this. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm talking about in general. I'm just going to swirl my brush in here and see what happens. I want to try it on my hand first. That's a pretty darn good application. I'm going to spray my brush again and we are going to try this. I can see this being really good for a very nice precise line, especially a winged liner, but we'll find out. So far so good. You have to keep wetting your brush. And I just slipped with the brush and went way higher than I wanted to. I'm going to try to fix it. If I can't, I'm not going anywhere, but just so you know, it wasn't on purpose. If I had the ability to do a winged liner, I should say not the ability. I can. I don't have the patience for it anymore because it's so difficult on my eyes. I think this would be a very nice, precise liner. Okay, I put the eyeliner on. It goes on very nicely, but I can say this. I can see me doing this in the morning. It's definitely not a quick and easy process. You have to take your time. You have to be precise. I kind of just like to do poop poop in the morning. You know, it's it's not a quick and easy type of liner. Doesn't mean I don't like it. Doesn't mean I won't use it, but I don't think I'll be reaching for it like in the morning when I'm half asleep putting my makeup on at 4.30 in the morning. I'll be very curious to see how it is waterproof wise and if it lasts. I did actually spray water in here because I kind of got tired of spraying my brush and then putting it in. So they say to let this completely dry before you close it up. Obviously you don't want any bacteria growing inside of there so if you let it dry first and then close it the chance of that happening are nil. And yes my brush did go back to normal. I just won't be putting that cap on anymore. I'll just keep it in here after I wash it of course. I'm just going to stick it in there and that way the bristles aren't going to get ruined because that's a very nice brush. And I wanted to take out this highlighter. It says hello. <laughs> Tetris and Ipsy highlighter. Look at the packaging. I love, adore this packaging. Um, hello is right highlighter 
Okay, it says that's a highlighter. That's, um... That's a highlighter? I'm, I'm trying to understand this. Why they would do that as a highlighter. I was expecting something way, way different. I don't even have my glasses on. Okay, I'm going to put this on as a highlighter. You are not allowed to laugh. Well, yeah, you can laugh. This is the only disappointing product I've seen so far. I, I would use this as the eyeshadow. It actually looks just like, hold on, almost looks like this green color. Let's see. Okay, it's very glittery. Very. But for some reason, it's kind of cool. Okay, well, it doesn't go on chunky, though. It does sit nicely on the skin. Honestly, I have to say I would have preferred a different color highlighter, but I'm sure there are some skin tones where this will look absolutely stunning. I don't hate it, but the problem is, I mean, it's an obvious highlighter. If that's what you're going for, then it's fine. So I don't hate it. It's not perfect. I don't think I'll wear it on the daily, but I will wear it because it's kind of cool. Just wish they had done something different, you know? I have a few products left in here. I'm thinking these are going to be lipsticks, and there are three of them. Look at the packaging. I mean, they have colors. I hope those aren't the colors on the bottom. Oh, well, this, ha I don't know. But there are different colors over here. Let's see. Oh, they say lip balms. Lip balms? I would think they would make lipsticks, don't you? I don't see a color name on them especially without my glasses. <gasps> Look at the packaging. Oh, how cute. This is plastic. It almost has a wooden feeling to it. Let's open this up and see what it is. Okay, it's like an orangey color, but if it is a lip balm, that is fine. Oh, how cu cute. It has a little pink dot in the center. Can you see that? See if you can see the little pink dot. Cool. I'm going to try them all on and we'll see what happens. There's not a real scent. I wish there was. I like the shape of the bullet. It adheres. It goes. Let's try that again. It hugs my lips nicely. It feels really nice on the lips. Doesn't have a taste. And it's just a very nice sheer red tint to the lips. Very pretty. I like it. This is the next one. It's got like a red or pink and a blue on the other side. Oh, this one's adorable too. It's the purple. Again, these are plastic and they almost feel and have the texture of like wood. And this one is a peachy color with a purple dot in the center. They feel really nice on the lips. This one just has a lighter pinky peach hue to it. So that is this one. The next one has a blue and a purple end to it. It all kind of seems similar, although this one seems a little pinkier on the lips. This one isn't like that beautiful red. Again, I will have to knit, put the colors up there. Oh, and this one is clear almost with a blue dot in the center. How cool was that? So this one is much more sheer, basically just almost a clear bomb, so you don't have to worry about the weird colors doing anything crazy on your lips, but this is what it looks like, and I like this one too. I can see just throwing these in my bag, and they're moisturizing. They make your f lips feel really, really soft, so I like that a lot. The last two things in here, I believe, are lip glosses. Again, with the super cool multi-colored ended packages, they are indeed lip glosses. Again, super cute packaging. This one has green, and that looks really pretty. I happen to love glittery glosses. You see me wear them all the time. Very long doe foot applicator. You see that? This one has a much sweeter scent. Very subtle still. If they have names, I will put them up, but that is this one. 
very pretty. I think it has a tingling feeling, but maybe that's just from wiping off my lips so much. I don't know. And the last one, this one has a beautiful blue cap. And it is just a silver glittery. Oh, this is nice. Again, same wand applicator. Another very pretty, not overbearing type of glitter. This will look good on its own. I think it'll look good over lipstick. I really like it. Those parts are my favorite. I'm still trying to take in this highlighter, but I'm getting used to it. The other things that we got in our Ipsy Plus bag or box or whatever you want to call it was this Trustique. Again, we had used it, but gotten one before. I tried to find my other one, and I can't find it. Maybe somebody absconded with it, like a sister or my mom or something. I don't know. Trustee is very expensive. Their packaging is luxe, though. It does have the magnetic closure, which I appreciate. Let's take this off, put this on both ways. First, I'm going to try it without the bomb and then the other way, etc. Again, if it sounds like someone's getting murdered in the background, they are, just not in my house, but on the TV. The color is very pretty. I just don't know if it's color for me. I think it might age me. I'm not really sure. Of course, it's a bit much with this look. I would never pair this much together. I will say one thing. I like the tip because it is almost like lining your lips when you're putting this on. Uh, only if the tip maintains that shape though, as it wears down, I don't know. And of course it does roll up, so you have a lot of product in there. This is as far as it rolls down though. Again, I'm thinking that the color is aging me slightly. I don't know about that. But I do want to try on the bomb, which is in the other side here. I don't think it added much to the lipstick because the lipstick was already not matte. It was already shiny. So the balm, I don't know. I don't think it changed much to it. I don't mind having a balm. Of course, if your lips get dry, the balm would be handy. I don't know if it was purposeful in this particular application, but yeah, I don't know if I'm going to keep this color. Obviously, I won't put it in a giveaway because I've used it, but somebody in my life might like it. I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think. I just think it's a bit garish on me. You can let me know. I want to top it off with one of the fun lip glosses, though, because I like these better. That's a little bit better. Hey, a future me here. I just realized after I finished that video, started cleaning up, I looked in the mirror, I went, I didn't put mascara on. Sometimes my brain leaves me and does not come back for a very long time. So I did actually put mascara on now. Why, I don't know, because I'm just going to go like do some laundry. Nonetheless, I wanted to you guys to see what it actually looks like with mascara on. So I just used a very natural mascara. I could have used lashes and stuff like that because it goes with this dramatic look, but I didn't. So here it is. Now, okay, back to whatever part of the video I'm going to put this in. Bye. So guys, that is it. Please tell me what you think. If you got this stuff or you have this or you're thinking about it, you know my basic thoughts on everything. I said the, the palettes, I want to play with some more. I do want to give them another shot. You can't really tell just from a first impression. You have to play with them under different circumstances. I promise. No, I promise. You know, you have to give things a fair shot and I'm going to do that. But for the price that I paid of $40 for everything, I am thrilled. I got a lot of products of $40. So in that instance, I am not disappointed in anything. Absolutely. But let me know what you think, guys. You know, I love hearing your comments, even <laughs> even the rude, funny ones. <laughs> that, that, that really cracked me up, by the way. Anyway, I love you guys so very much. Thank you so much for joining me. You are the most amazing people I've ever not met in my entire life. And so I have to tell you that. But whatever part of the world you are in on and around, I hope you're having an amazing day, an amazing week. You are beautiful, spectacular, and special because I'm telling you, you are. And I will see you guys in my very next video. Bye.